2018 GMC Acadia SLT1. One owner with a clean Carfax 11,000 mile in white. Uh, really nice looking vehicle here, redesigned in 18. Uh, still keeps that classic uh, industrial grade GMC styling as you can see, but gives you the high definition headlamps and the LED fogs. You can see that white with chrome accent really gives it a sharp classy look uh, on this seven passenger SUV. So we continue around to the side. It does have the sport matte gray split spoke alloy wheels. We got Michelin tires here uh, with three quarter tread or more on them, probably seven, eight, 30 seconds. Also, you can see a nice shiny resurfaced rotor and thick brake pad. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do use car mechanical check on all our vehicles. Find the results of that inspection signed up by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. Taking a quick peek in through the passenger side here, you can see a full power seat, including lumbar. Got the ebony leather with the offset white stitching, two bucket seats, full console in between. A little bit of brushed aluminum highlights and uh, synthetic wood grain there throughout the center spline, as well as the door panel. Kind of breaks up the black interior there. Gives it a nice, classy, premium uh, feel and look. Also, in the second row, you can see the captain's chairs, which is nice because easy access to the third row of the seven passenger SUVs. You can see, just give you a quick little peek into that third row. Very ample uh, leg, hip, and, and shoulder room for all three levels of occupants, though. Uh, also, you can see that you do have climate control. We do have a 110 outlet, USB ports, uh, two of them, as well as a little cargo area there on that center console. Uh, really try to, to make sure that everyone has power supply and connectivity. Um, that is the way of the world of traveling. You got to make sure those kids can stay connected. Uh, looking on the back, you can see the matching sport wheel. Also about the same depth on those Michelins. Again, rear, rear rotor resurfaced as well. Continuing around to the back, you can see, of course, it's an all-wheel drive Acadia. Has the uh, backup camera right there. Integrated ultrasound sensors. Got a power lift gate. One touch of the button to pull that up. You can see very simple to drop this third row. You want a little more cargo, pull those handles, down goes the seats. Also a little bit of cargo area there. And of course the 12 volt power supply in the back to help your rear passengers stay connected. Got a button here to lower that power lift gate. Continuing around to the uh, driver's side. Again, matching wheel and tires, just like to focus in on them. Same depth as the rest. Get your SLT badging there. Just giving you a look from the other angle. The very, very clean interior, no rips, tears, stains, or odors. Previous owner was a non-smoker. And then we'll give you a look through on the driver's seat here. Full power seat with the lumbar on the driver's side as well. You can see nice GMC door sill entry guards. So I want to give you a quick little tour of the interior. But before I do, I'd like to show you the keys. Got two proximity keys here with the integrated fobs, factory remote start, and the power lift gate button as well as panic. Two keys. Also show you here, we got your windows, your mirrors, and your locks. It's your uh, lift gate control there. It's your Bose sound on that grill cover, as you can see. Also, besides the mechanical evaluation of the glove box, keep a copy of the auto history report on the dash. See one owner, no accidents. Let's put our foot in the brake, press the start button here. going to go back to the info we're on the options back to the info section there you can see 11,055 original miles so let me know our hot spot this can uh, and is equipped with a mobile hot spot it's another awesome way of keeping everybody connected let's continue the tour you do have the ability to shut uh, that's the electronic parking brake excuse me do have your dimmer switch for your interiors headlamp controls are in the outer side of this multi stem we also got your uh, high beams and turn signals Outer on this stem is your rear wiper washer, interior is your wiper washers. Uh, we've got your cruise control on the left. Got your confirmation as I was toggling there using that and your blue, Bluetooth hands free on the right. Got your AM FM satellite radio, ability to pair your phone, OnStar navigation, got your heads up display. So got your text and your OnStar and your climate controls all with a touch. Analog if you prefer. Also dual climate control with automatic temperature setting. Again, analog if you prefer. We got your uh, uh, heated seats here. See down in there, 12 volt power supply. Looks like two more USB ports and an audio auxiliary hookup. Power passenger seats, two large cup holders. Got your uh, four wheel drive controls here. Uh, ability to lock it in as well as your uh, less than optimum terrain. 
There's the ability to shut off your parking sensors if you prefer. On top gives you the ability to select any of the gears of the multi-speed transmission on this floor shifter. Then the console is another charging area. Excited to keep you well equipped there. We got an auto dim on your rear view. Of course, we got your OnStar Universal Home Link up here. Uh, program garage door openers. Got your illuminated visors. No roof. That's about the only thing uh, this vehicle isn't equipped with. It even has the blind spot, as you can see on the mirror. Let's go ahead and pop the hood here. Hood release right down there. I believe it's a 3.6 liter variable valve time V6 engine. Get the hood open, I'll let you see it. There you, go. There you can see it though. Uh, very clean, very quiet, no exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks, no corrosion on the electrical terminals. Very much what you expect on the 11,000 mile on this vehicle. Very much like new. Let's go ahead and shut the car off. We'll get into the last portion of the video. And as I've explained, the mechanical evaluations in the glove box. A copy of the auto history report is on the dash. Last part of making an informed buying decision is cosmetic appearance. Vehicle seems to be very, very clean on my first go around. Haven't really noticed any stone chips or dings. We do try to buy only the cleanest and trade only the cleanest vehicles. We want to give our folks a light new alternative, uh, really allowing the first owner to take the biggest hit on depreciation, allow the second owner to get the most cost effective savings, and not compromise anything that a new car would give you, such as condition, interior odors, tire brake depths. Uh, essentially, you're going to get a vehicle that is light new. And everything but the price that is our goal and that's what we strive every day to give but as you can see just quickly walking around this video I really or vehicle excuse me I really have had trouble even finding a stone chip might be a little one up there uh, but excellent excellent shape and very much fits our model of what we're trying to get for you guys which is a light new vehicle much much less than you would pay for a new one Quick little pan across the front here, but like I say, very, very clean car here. Haven't really noticed as much as a few stone chips. You can see there are just a few on the hood. All cars have those. But very, very nice car here, vehicle, uh, folks, excuse me, very nice vehicle. Uh, still does have the remainder of factor, uh, GMC's factory uh, powertrain and comprehensive coverage, so you can buy this vehicle with confidence. And it is transferable to the next owner. So if you're interested, a few ways of getting a hold of us, look us up on the web, www.thomasata.com. Give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.